the Namibian leader told the UNESCO meeting that COVID-19 has, without doubt, exposed the digital divide among students, families and geographical locations. To ensure equal connectivity and technologies, President Gengob says government is increasing its investments in ICT facilities through public-private smart partnerships. Indeed, the post-COVID-19 environment is showing the way that technology is the key to personalized learning and we have accelerated our invest interventions in that regard. Yes, COVID-19 is a challenge, but it, is, it has also opened up the opportunity for leveraging hybrid models that include technology and physical presence for better learning outcomes. Government allocates about 20% of the national budget to the education sector, which Dr. Gengob says has helped in expanding access. Improvements in water infrastructure, sanitation and learner accommodation were also made for schools to reopen under the World Health Organization guidelines. We are proud to state that children have returned to school and their situation is closely monitored through the decentralized structures of government. On the issue of an inclusion, equity and gender equality, a strong policy framework for inclusion in education sectors ensures that the Ministry of Education is responsive to the needs of children with disabilities, orphans and those who have vulnerabilities to guarantee that children with disabilities, orphans and vulnerable communities do not fall victims to abuse. The 2020 Global Education Meeting has called for priority actions to accelerate progress towards SDG 4 in the COVID-19 context and political leaders' commitments to deliver on these actions. The virtual meeting was co-hosted by governments of Ghana, Norway, UK and UNESCO. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.